David here with Fig Boot on Pens, back again with another video. Uh, this isn't a review, but I wanted to share three quick stories, uh, two of which I hope you find entertaining, and another one I feel is rather important. Uh, story one. Uh, this past week, I traveled down to Florida for work. Uh, I enjoy traveling, even if it's only for work, but some travel days are better than others, uh, and this travel day certainly had its ups and downs. Uh, bad news. Uh, I live in North Carolina, and my only option of flights co were connecting through LaGuardia in New York. Uh, you don't need to be a geography major to realize that New York is not on its way to Florida from North Carolina. But the good news is was that while I am not a fan of the airport LaGuardia itself, uh, the approach and takeoff to LaGuardia are some of my favorite. Uh, when you land, you get a, a great look at the Statue of Liberty. Uh, and then also like the Billie Jean King National Tennis Center, as well as City Field where the Mets play. Um, I even like seeing the infamous chop shops right there next to the stadium. And I love the takeoff where you get an amazing view of Manhattan. While at the airport, I was making my way to a connecting gate, walking through kind of some twisting, narrow walkways, when I started to hear some music. And I just thought it was the music coming from inside the terminal. Uh, it was like 90s hip-hop music. Uh, I didn't recognize the song, but it could have been something like Bell Biv DeVoe or Tony Tony Tony, something like that. Um, I rounded the corner and looked up, and right in front of me, going past, was comedian Tracy Morgan. Uh, he was being pushed in a wheelchair, and on his lap was an enormous speaker blasting music. And then meandering behind him was his entourage. I, I started to laugh, and then he looked, just looked at me and nodded. Uh, most celebrities, when they are out in public, they try not to get noticed, not Tracy Morgan. Uh, he announced his presence and had a parade through the terminal. It was just a very funny sight to see that made my day. Okay, story two. Uh, while in Florida, I attended an exhibition game between the Red Sox and the uh, national team from Puerto Rico, who was getting ready for the World Baseball Classic. Uh, it was a fun game, and there was lots of Puerto Rican pride in the stands, which was fun to see. Toward the end of the game, I decided to go up on top of the green monster and left. Uh, I was up there for an inning when all of a sudden this happened. Where are they playing? I don't know. It's a rocket to left. Nelson Velasquez with a solo shot in the ninth. What did I say earlier? The easiest way to deal with the win is just go through it. Yep. That's exactly what he just did. That's a rocket. Now, I realize it's tough to see, but that's me reaching to my right as far as I can, only getting a literal fingertip on the ball. Uh, in hindsight, it was a weak effort. Uh, there was no one next to me, uh, and if only I would have shuffled over a step, I would have had a better chance at catching the ball. Oh well. Uh, you know, I'll, I have caught a home run ball before. Uh, it was from Hall of Famer Ryan Sandberg of the Chicago Cubs. Uh, that was quite some time ago, so I'm due for another. Um, I have caught plenty of batting practice home runs, but those really don't count. Okay, that was story two. Now for the important story. On my flight down from New York to Florida, I made a very stupid mistake. I had a four-pen pouch I was traveling with, and I left it on the plane. 100% my fault. Uh, in this pouch weren't just any pens. It was a Namiki Yukari Royale, a Sailor King of Pen Pro Gear Sky, a Mont Blanc Alfred Hitchcock, and my personal copy of my first Leonardo pen project, a Memento Zero in the turquoise Jonathan Brooks material. Needless to say, this was a very expensive loss. Not only a monetary loss, but a significant sentimental loss as well. Uh, the Hitchcock had been my grail pen for years. Uh, the King of Pen was the pen I purchased on the day of my Neil deGrasse Tyson interview. Uh, and the Leonardo was my very first project. Uh, most of these pens could not be replaced. Uh, the next morning, when I realized the case was missing, I was devastated and uh, upset at my own carelessness. Uh, I went online and filled out a lost item form with Delta, the airline that I had flown, uh, but had very little hope that that would do any good. I mean, they must get hundreds of these forms submitted every single day. Um, I was very confident that I would never see my pens again and pretty much spent the day trying to get over the loss. Uh, later in the evening, as I was back at the hotel, I received a phone call from Delta Baggage Claim at the airport. 
uh, that I, they had asked if I lost anything, and I said that I had and described the case, uh, that they said that they had found the case. Uh, the cleaning crew had found my pens and handed them over to the baggage claim folks. Baggage claim proceeded to call every passenger in my row in an attempt to reunite the case with whomever lost it. Um, and they weren't doing this because I had filled out that online form. They never even received that form. Uh, they were just doing this on their own. Um, I immediately hopped in the car and sped to the airport wh where the Delta employee met me outside baggage claim and gave me back my pins. Uh, she did check my ID to make sure who I uh, was who I said I was, so she was doing her job, and I was immensely grateful. Uh, it seems like the only time we hear about airlines is because they have done something wrong, uh, and I thought it would be nice to share a story where one did something right. Uh, in the notes below, maybe share a positive experience you've had with Delta or any other airline. Uh, it's nice to hear positive stories every so often. Um, I sincerely thanked the Delta employee and handed her one of my business cards. I asked that she uh, email me an address so that I could send her a thank you gift. Uh, I plan on sending her and her team something very nice. Okay, that's it. I just wanted to share a couple of stories about my trip. I'll be back with another fountain pen review soon. Until then, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.